Yes, we've only been in Portofino for about 15 minutes and we are already in love with this place. We can completely see why people flock to this part of Italy. Portofino, a place that just oozes luxury. We're talking luxury yachts, prime real estate, and rubbing shoulders with the royalty and celebrities who love to flock here in the European summer. This small Italian fishing village is located in the metropolitan of Genoa and makes part of the stunning Italian Riviera. In our last vlog, we explored the beautiful Cinque Terre and we are now driving north. But since camper vans are banned in Portofino, we decided to camp in Rapallo using this as a base to explore Portofino, our last stop on this Italian road trip adventure. Camping Rapallo. Look at the turning cycle on that. He's done this before, hasn't he? Stop! Out! Passport control! Where's our passports? Uh, go back! <laughs> Do they have space? Yay! We have somewhere to live! Yay! And power. And power. Just like three euros difference. It's worth it for the fan, right? For the sake of... Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, for the sake of... Basically, we're paying three euros a day to have access to our fan to keep us cool in those hot temperatures. So we are number 96. We've got to drive all the way around. Okay. Sweet. So today our journey starts at Camping Rapallo and we're going to show you how you can get from here all the way down to Portofino because it's not the easiest journey. It's not at all, however, we say that it's easier than trying to actually drive a van through to Portofino because motorhomes are banned, <laughs> vans or big size vehicles can be somewhat of an issue as well so you may not have a choice if you are road tripping around Italy like us and you want to visit Portofino so we've made it halfway there we are now in Santa Margarita so we rode the seven or the number seven bus we're now trying to find where the interchange section is so we can catch our next bus to Portofino I think we can get our bus tickets here okay, bus tickets oh yeah okay. better than E that destination. Zero. Number of tickets. Two. Five euros. One. Thanks for that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> One minute, it gave us way more than we needed to. Did we put 20 in? Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought we put 10 in. I was like, <laughs> I'll give you 10 back. <laughs> We've made it to Piaggia Libera, which is public beach, apparently. So let's go down this cute little stairwell down to the beach. We've only been in Portofino for about 15 minutes and we are already in love with this place. We can completely see why people flock to this part of Italy. So we're mixing with the locals who are taking their morning dip at the moment. There's a cute little area which we will put a link in the description. It's like a lovely little beach which is probably like the only pebble beach here in Portofino. How is it? It's like perfect temperature to cool you down. So nice. And it's so nice to see all like the little nonnas and the families coming down, having a little swim, enjoying the morning sun before it gets too hot. And you've got this lovely view of these colourful buildings opposite, just right where the beach is, surrounded up, so it's really, really nice. It's amazing actually to be down here in the morning because it's just perfect conditions. Yeah. The water is so clear, you can see right to the bottom and it's just absolutely beautiful. So without further ado, do you want to get in? Get for a dip. <laughs>
had a lovely time down at this cute little beach in Portofino. It's starting to get a bit busy, so time to go find a couple. Yay! So the bus dropped us off literally just around the corner from this spot and it's only a seven minute walk into town from here. So it's still nice and early. We're gonna go and grab an espresso coffee and grab some food. So we decided to take a walk down all the back streets and cobble streets in Portofino and you could just get lost for days, but it's awesome. It's so nice. It's actually a bit of a shaded area as well, which is very welcome given the hot temperatures of this August heat. So we've just found a small little staircase all the way down to the harbour from that main road and we're walking down and it is so so beautiful the water is so blue so portofino is definitely an expensive place if you want to stop to have a bite to eat and a cappuccino. We just sat down for, as James said, just a couple of cappuccinos and a couple of toasties, and the bill came to 27 euros. Yeah. Yummy? Yeah. Yeah. 27 Not euros. Not your cheapest place in Italy. <laughs> By the same token, you are sitting on the harbour with beautiful views of Portofino, so you are paying really for the location and the view that you get. We've done about 50 steps so far, and Alex is absolutely hanging. I think after all the hiking we've done this holiday, we would get a little bit fitter. <laughs> We're still not even at the top yet. Come on then. Come on, power through. Looks like a more secret spot up here. So the view from up here at San Giorgio Church is amazing. On one side you've got the whole of Portofino with all the beautiful coloured houses and incredible super yachts. And if you take a walk over to the other side you've got just ocean. It's beautiful. So to be honest, we didn't really know what to expect from Portofino, other than that we knew it was a coastal town and it does have a similar vibe to Cinque Terre, yeah. but on a bit of a grander scale, the shops are a bit nicer, they're a little bit more high end and there's definitely that feeling of expensiveness with the super yachts and, I was gonna say, and the boats are bigger. And the boats are bigger. But all in all, it has a really nice feel and it's such a beautiful day just to take a wander around, visit the churches, go and have coffee on the harbour. It's been a really nice day. It has been a nice day. Now, we only allowed one day for ourselves in Portofino and it just so happened to be our last day in Italy. So it was nice to have just that little bit of Italian luxury before we get off to our next destination. If you do find yourselves in Italy, you might want to spend one, two, or maybe even three days here. Just be aware that it is a little bit more expensive than some of your other areas in Italy, especially some of the destinations that we've been on the last two weeks. So bear that in mind. So we hope you enjoyed our time here in Portofino. We will sign off with a lovely drone shot of the harbour. So to be honest, we didn't really know what to expect from our Portofino trip, other than that we, other than that, other than that we knew it was. <laughs> so to be honest. <laughs> okay. So to be honest, we didn't really know what to expect from Portofino. <laughs> Go. So to be honest, we didn't really know what to expect from Portofino other than that it's on the Italian Riviera. <laughs> <laughs> you went, oh man.
But where'd it go? So we didn't really know what to expect. <laughs> Uh, so we didn't really know what to expect from Border Rain. <laughs> Let's record him. Ready? Bars are hotter that way then. Watch out. So bear that in mind. What else? Um. Okay, ready? So we got the bus from Santa Claus Margarita. <laughs> so we got the bus from Pizza Margarita. So this really is where the very wealthy and very rich come. Do you mind holding it? It's been working this whole time. Maybe. Go for a dip. <laughs> oh. 